Don King's crazy vocabulary and towering hairdo often make it seem like he's not real. However, the game bearing his likeness tries very hard to provide a realistic simulation. There are real boxers from the past few decades in real arenas. The gameplay, with its focus on slow-paced defensive maneuvering, also mirrors the real sport. The problem is, when you punch someone in real life, you know it. Here, it feels like you're punching a cloud. Without impact, Don King Boxing quickly loses its appeal, becoming boring and flat, especially compared to its loquacious spokesman. Don King is a world-renowned storyteller, so it comes as little surprise that his boxing game contains a gripping yarn. It's only by a man's actions do you know what's going on in his heart. You're knocking on the door to big time now, baby. This guy can fight. Make your mama proud. Make me proud. Story mode lets you assume the role of the kid throughout his career. Fighting out of the red corner. The game is packed with pre-recorded footage that references your exploit. You have to roll with the punches. The kid wasn't getting the fight that he wanted to have next. Don King and his boxing pals wax poetics about your rise to stardom and reminisce about boxing matches long since past. Because the story mixes the present and past, the game blade does too, letting you fight about as the kid and then jump back 50 years to reenact a classic brawl. It's a cool system that will suck in hardcore boxing aficionados. But the only gameplay difference between the eras is a black and white filter that hinders your view. The controls do a good job of mirroring the sport. Moving either arm forward results in a jab, swinging to the side triggers a hook, and throwing your hands up lets you pull off an uppercut. The controls work well for the most part, but you won't always be able to throw the correct punch in the heat of battle. Thankfully, you won't be punished too much if you unleash a hook instead of an uppercut, but the problem still exists. Holding A brings up your gloves, but you can only block for so long before your hands get knocked aside. Because of this, you'll have to sway to dodge and duck, and like the punching, the motions register most of the time. However, the good controls are neutralized by a crummy camera angle. You view the matches directly behind your silhouetted fighter, and while the up-close perspective initially seems as though it would draw you into the action, after a few rounds you'll feel disconnected. It's extremely difficult to judge your distance, so landing a punch feels arbitrary and random. Compounding this problem is a lack of impact from your blows. They don't carry any weight, so even landing a powered-up uppercut to the jaw doesn't bring with it any satisfaction. Because of this, the matches feel sloppy. There's a training program as well, but it feels separate from your career. It's accessed from a different menu from the story mode, so you can't mix training in between bouts. The bag punching and rope jumping feel fine, but suffer from the same problem as the fights. Punching a bag feels as lame as punching a man, so the training quickly loses its appeal. Even the addition of the balance board, which lets you dodge quite easily, doesn't make the gameplay engaging. Everything feels dull and lifeless. The story is interesting and the controls functional, but Don King Boxing is ultimately not satisfying because the actual matches seem so sanitized and muted. Punching a person in the face should be fun, it should get your blood pumping. Instead, it just triggers a hearty yawn. For hardcore boxing fans, the array of classic boxers and motion controls that actually work should give some satisfaction, but the gameplay can't live up to the impressive presentation.